3,000 years of history waiting to be discovered. The body was found this morning. Do we have any suspects yet? It's my job to find out what happened. Stop! It's time. Someone wants to find it or died trying. Dig, Thursday, March 5th to 10 on USA. Ice on the roads, ice on trees, bringing parts of them down, freezing temperatures, all making for a travel nightmare in parts of the South. Now, right now in Tennessee, they have just declared a level two state of emergency because of horrible conditions. Yeah, we've had a really rough week across the volunteer state. Yeah. And joining us right now on the phone is BJ Doty. She is from Tennessee, the Department of Transportation. And we appreciate you joining us on what is, I'm sure, a busy day for you. Tell us about the conditions, especially on the roads around your area. Well, we've seen very treacherous conditions on a portion of I-40 uh, between Nashville and Knoxville. Uh, we've got power lines down across the interstate in addition to some of the icy conditions. So it's been very challenging all day. Yeah, we're looking at the radar right now, and unfortunately you're getting a lot of heavy rain, especially in the middle part of the state. Uh, kind of what are you telling your residents, uh, those traveling throughout the volunteer state, what to do, some advice well, to give them? Well, we're asking them to, to avoid that, that Cumberland Plateau area particularly. Um, you know, we've got a lot of standing water in other parts of the state, uh, but the, the ice and slush is, is mostly gone. Uh, but right now in that Cumberland Plateau area, uh, they're without power. Uh, so if someone were to find themselves stranded, they're not going to find many great options off the interstate. So we're, we're really advising people to not, not travel through that area. Are there still some people who are without power from the last ice storm we had earlier this week? Uh, probably so. I don't have any numbers on that, uh, but some of the more rural areas, uh, certainly there, are, there have been people that have been without power all week. And we're also going to be dealing with much colder air or another push of colder air coming into your state as we head into Monday and Tuesday. So any advice that you can give travelers for that? Well, just to be very cautious because, uh, you know, we don't anticipate all of this water uh, going anywhere between now and when those colder temperatures come in. So we do anticipate having some additional uh, slick places on our roadways as we head into the first part of next week. Well, thank you, B.J. Toady from the Tennessee Department of Transportation. We appreciate your time and what's been a very busy week weather-wise and otherwise. All right, now let's head to another part of the country. Let's go to Colorado, which is underneath, or part of that state is underneath winter storm warnings. Lee and Greg is in Boulder, where they have been seeing the snow. And what are conditions looking like for you right now? Oh, here we go. Wow, the snow it's is really picking up. It's been... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's really coming down. There's been a mixture all day of, of freezing rain, sleet, and now this snow, as expected, and it's, it's going to get worse as the night goes on. There could be as much as 10 to 16 inches of snow, not only here in Boulder, but all across this region. Take a look at the scene. Looks like a, not of, a lot of accumulation yet, but as I mentioned, it's coming along with this front that's going to bring colder temperatures. Tomorrow, the high is not expected to get above around 16 degrees. Right now, it's hovering around 30 degrees. But again, this is really a major snow event for uh, Denver and the uh, much of the Colorado uh, region. We are uh, expecting more accumulation than we've had in the last three years. It's not uh, the storm to end all storms, no blizzard-like conditions, but it's very consistent. Uh, right now we're getting the heavy, wet snow that is expected to get lighter as the evening rolls around. And again, the winter storm warning will remain in effect until at least five o'clock on Sunday afternoon local time. Uh, the snow will be consistent throughout tomorrow, and then it will start to diminish Sunday night with maybe a 20 percent chance for a few more inches uh, early on Monday morning. Uh, that's the latest a winter wonderland here in Boulder. Back to you guys. Thanks Lee and Greg. Looks like a beautiful scene out there. Have fun in that snow. Now let's check in with Jennifer Lopez with regard to travel. What's where are the problem areas? Well right across the northeast you see that snow it's all indicated in the area shaded in blue so really not encouraging those that if you don't have to get on the road zone especially along 95 here stretching from Boston down into Virginia real big mess across DC because of the heavy amount of snow that we've had. Philly no huge delays at the airport but remember airports typically are not too crowded 
on Saturday. So again, that could help out the situation. But we are going to continue to see that snow for a few more hours around Philly and then it'll start to taper off. New York, light snow for you. Heavier stuff could come in, and it's gonna continue for maybe a few more hours until it finally changes over to rain by late tonight. All right, stay with us. We'll have much more on Pandora coming up right after the break. Sir, we're gonna need you on the runway later. Don't let a severe cold hold you back. Get Theraflu with the power of three medicines to take on your worst pain and fever, cough, and nasal congestion. It breaks you free from your toughest cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Who wants pizza rolls? This game day, fun harder with Totino's Pizza Rolls and Blasted Crust Rolls. Introducing Olive Garden's first ever four course starting at $12.99. Enjoy an individual appetizer, salad, and breadsticks. One of six entrees like smoked mozzarella chicken and a decadent dessert. Four courses start at just $12.99 at Olive Garden.